Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is James chapter 1, verses 12 through 16. Blessed is a man who perseveres under trial, for once he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, and he himself does not tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is carried away and enticed by his own lust. Then, when lust has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and when sin is accomplished, it brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. When we struggle with temptation, understanding how it works can be helpful. Every sin originates as a thought. If we hold on to the thought, it becomes a fantasy, the chance to imagine what pursuing that notion would be like without actually doing so. Fantasies can easily become entangled with our emotions. This creates a desire which brings us to the point where a choice must be made, and we must either consent to the sin or refuse. This process is quite dangerous, as the progression from thought to choice is actually almost instantaneous. So those of us who are believers, if we're wise, will determine ahead of time to resist temptation. We'll build the defense before the offense happens. There are two cornerstones to a good defense, the recognition that God's in control and the commitment to obey Him. We can further fortify our defense when temptation actually comes. Satan has a way of spotlighting the pleasure of sin until it's all we see. But with prayerful effort, we can retrain our focus to take in the bigger picture. Is this choice a violation of God's Word? If so, there will be consequences. No one can resist temptation perfectly. We'll all continue to struggle with sin. But the more we meditate on Scripture and communicate with God, the stronger our defense will be.